Hello, I'm Lena Ashby and you're in the lab with Green Dinosaur. This is to get you familiar with the Lead Online platform. In the entry field, we are going to type in leadonline.com, so L-E-E-D online.com. For our purposes, we're going to log in with an existing account. Even if you're looking for a project in an older version of Lead, so version 3 or version 2008, they've all been combined now. So if you go into this Lead Online portal, it'll take you to all those projects simultaneously. So the new Lead Online has some great information. For one, the projects are categorized by project type in this right-hand column. You also have a running list of all the projects that you're a member of. And if you want to include a feed that shows you all the updates to the, your existing projects, you can do so. One of our projects, South Whittier Library, is pursuing Lead and C Platinum. The project details page is going to ask you some very general information about the project. Here you'll also have access to ownership information. Particularly, you'll have access to the project registration agreement, certification policy manual, minimum program requirements, rating system document, which will outline the different credits and criteria, and the certification agreement. This is also going to be the space where you include confirmation of agent's authority if someone else will be signing off on the owner's behalf. Now let's go into the credits. So the credits tab is going to outline the project scorecard. It includes all of the credits that are available for that rating system, and then goes into each credit status and if it's required or if it's worth point. We're going to jump into one of the credits in further detail. As you can see, when you click one of the credits, it will go into the credit form, any documentation uploads. If the credit is assigned to a specific person, if it has a licensed professional sign off, if there's review comments, or if you need more information about the credit, you can go into the credit library. So once you log into a credit form, you can decide which option you're going to pursue and then populate the general information that's needed. Once you've completed the credit form, you'll press this check compliance button and it'll let you know if you've missed any areas. Once you've updated the form, always press save form at the bottom to make sure that it's properly saved. The uploads tab will show whatever supporting documentation you have uploaded for each credit. When you press the team tab, it will identify which team member is assigned to this credit. The licensed professional exemption is if you are a registered engineer and are taking responsibility for that credit rather than using traditional documentation. The comments tab will go into any GBCI review comments. The forms tab will take you to the credit form, which outlines how you're going to document the credit. The credit library button will take you back to the USG website where it will go into more information about the credit. It will also tie you into any lead online reference guides that your membership has purchased. Here you can look into the credit language, additional resources, lead interpretations, and also the lead user forum. Now if you go back to the lead scorecard page and you press the uploads button, it will open up all the uploads available for the entire project. Once you're on the scorecard page, you can press the team button and see all of the people invited to the project. To add another member to the project, simply include their email address and press add member. If you would like to delete somebody from the project, you can go to the X on the right side of their name and press deactivate. If you want to change their authorization level, then you can press the edit button that's right next to their name. If you select the timeline button, it will go through all of the project reviews the dates, as well as the payment status for the project. You can also download information in bulk through the snapshot button or look at the review comments with the review report button. If you go to the interpretations button, you can submit a credit interpretation request or a lead interpretation. Either way, you can get clarification on a project specific item that might be a gray area in the reference guide. The clarifications button can be used particularly if GBCI is trying to contact you during a review and they want additional information on a specific credit. 
So as you can see, it's not that difficult. Once the project has been fully documented and is ready to go, you can press this bright blue submit for review button. Then you can all relax and high five your coworkers. Thank you for watching our lead online demo and best of luck with your future lead projects.